Thought I'd do a tiny little video. Um, basically, my old aerial was um, buggered and the guy had disconnected it. It had snapped off. Um, so I bought a new antenna, or aerial, whatever you want to call it. And um, But now, since I have an aftermarket deck, there's no antenna wire on here. It's just a remote wire. So when you turn on even CD player, um, it'll put your aerial up. And it's a really ugly freaking area. It's massive. It's like a meter long. And on a really small car, it looks shocking. So, um, what I've done is, between the, um, the wire, what I've done is, um, put a switch, and you can't see it, it's all on behind here, got a wire running down here, and I just put a little switch here. And, um, what I did is just drill a hole in the bottom. I'll put some light on there so you can see. I drew a little hole down there, and um, just put the wire through and put a little switch there, so I can switch it on and off, and um, close it up, you don't see it, I didn't want to put it, I was going to put it here, but then I thought people would be out going in my car and be like, oh what's the switch for, and also it's just a pain because this is loose in there, um, <laughs> it's just another thing I sort of have to um, fix. See, so yeah, just flick it up, flick the antenna on or off, and um, there it goes. So I'll just give you a demo. So my radio, as you can see, it's on. No aerial. However, flick the switch. And the aerial goes up, and I'll flip the switch again. That should come down. There it goes. Um, the reception for the radio isn't too bad with the aerial down. And um, yeah, now I don't have to have this stupid aerial whenever I listen to my iPod. Cool. Um, yeah, that's about it, guys. See ya.